Well, welcome to another great episode of Financing the American Dream today. Well, today we're in the heartbeat of LA. We're in Venice Beach. And well, we're gonna be meeting with LA's premier CPA, John Weldon, and we're gonna explore, well, the benefits of home ownership in this new environment and all of the cool tax strategies that you're gonna wanna know about. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started, come on. John, you know what I found? So oh, thank God. you so much for joining us today. No well, it's opportunities. You were correct. Right, but, but interest rates, things that, that relate to the way we finance real estate. Well, it feels different right now for a lot of folks. Paying a higher rate right now might seem like a negative, but from a tax point of view, you're have increased your write-off. So the tax structure, the write-off of the interest is subsidizing the increased value um, that on the home or the interest you're paying. Using like a 401k, for example, these are designed to be invested for retirement and the later. And what I love about it is that when we use it to put it into a house, yep. so now we're diversifying our retirement assets yeah. by buying real estate. Well, it takes money to buy some of the real estate and, and, and there's different type of real estate one could buy. <laughs> How do you recommend that people find money that they didn't know they didn't have? Where should you go hunting? For? You know, you you talk to probably the first source is relatives, okay, or parents. Is there a maximum, John, that a parent can give to their children as a gift no. for taxation purposes? No, there is no maximum. But I know that we can invest in real estate that others will live in, where we're the landlord. Right. That's correct. Can I ask, please, John? tax advantage wise, what happens for that person that becomes a landlord instead of the tenant paying the landlord? Whenever you buy a home, look at this home as a future rental. The great thing about a rental property is you have your tenants are paying all your expenses. In most cases, you're paying no taxes <laughs> on that rental income. You shared something really powerful with me, John, and we spoke about the tax benefit that a consumer gets through tax deductibility for those that qualify to take it. Every individual's or, or household's situation is unique, their tax rate, okay, based on their income and the size of their family. But you can maybe say there's an average of maybe 22% tax benefit that the government is giving you or subsidizing your home purchase. So for example, if you, your mortgage interest for simplicity's sake is $100,000, then your tax benefit would be $22,000. And that $22,000, John, is offsetting what I've been paying over the year. That is correct. Well, I love it. Thank you so much. And thank you. I, I, I knew it was so valuable for our, our viewers today. When we think about real estate, it's not just the gross amount I pay every month. It's the net pay that I get That's to have. Correct. Thank you, John. Well, thank you for watching this episode of American Dream LA, where we explored all of the city's fun. I'm your host, Scott Griffin, and until next time, bye.